PRC's Journey 2023. Can you imagine we're in 2023? Thanks be to the Almighty God for His grace, His mercies, and His keeping power. Lord, thank you. When this couple was first sent by the esteemed Bishop Zachary Nepal on Sunday, September 7, 2014, they had no idea what to expect. However, since Bishop was never going to take no for an answer, they took what could be considered as the Abrahamic journey that Sunday morning. God has certainly given his approval to the work being restarted by the many souls over the years who have been baptized in the name of Jesus, filled with his Holy Ghost, and the many fallen soldiers who have been restored. The Restoration Center has, with the help of God, weathered many storms. Nine years and counting, what a tremendous blessing. We salute our pastor and his wife for trusting and allowing God to lead them as they faithfully shepherd the flock and trusted in their care. COVID-19 tried to put a damper on the mission, but we were not phased as our pastor insisted that he will not accept this thing called the new normal. He implemented various activities to ensure things were on the move. Today, we look back and glorify God for the many victories won. He has since maintained the live streaming of all services, which has allowed both save and unsave worshippers from all over the world to participate in the services. We must make mention of our Bible study every Tuesday night. These sessions have been amazing. We most definitely have to pause to mention our last completed series, The Dispensations. We were all like real Bible scholars as we progressed through each dispensation weekly. The final week had our minds focused on being ready for the rapture as we learned about the millennial reign and of course we would want to be among the number coming back with Christ at the second coming. It was a joy to see the stiff competition among the brethren during the review of the previous lessons each week. Sister Shani, Sister Tashel, and Sister Hastings, among others in the sanctuary, while Sister Nikisha and Sister Bent, among others online. They were all having what could be described as siblings' rivalry in school challenge quiz fashion. Thank you, sir. We have certainly learned a lot. Our pastor ensures that the saints online are always included in the services. They get the chance to participate in just about all the activities that the saints in the sanctuary are involved in. For example, on Pastor Sunday, when we have asked each night, they too get to send in their questions and have them answered. We cannot find the words to explain the joy each time we see an online worshiper, both locally and overseas, shows up to give a surprise visit in the sanctuary. We truly appreciate you all. We would also like to sincerely thank our pastor for the enlightening Sunday school classes every Sunday morning. In addition, we thank you, granting the opportunity to our youths in the congregation to grow. They get the opportunity to minister the word even in Sunday services, and we have seen the growth over these nine years. Thank you for speaking and declaring the spirit of excellence over the congregation, especially our youths. We have really seen how much our young people are excelling. 
We have witnessed our young people really progressing and as a result have been enrolled in various tertiary institutions this school year, ranging from Montego Bay Community College, Caribbean Maritime University, and we have just sent off one of our very own to medical school in China. We must applaud you, sir, for the series Go-Getters, where you, Brother Chris, and Brother Hilton all shared your experiences in business. From that series, you encourage all those doing businesses to start advertising, and those who had the intention also to hold up the encouragement and have started their businesses. And we know there are many more to come. To all officers and saints of the Restoration Center who have been working with our pastor for these nine years, thank you so much. Don't get weary in well-doing. Pastor Evangelist Mary, keep on doing what God has called you to do. God bless you richly. The journey continues.